to my channel and and hi to all my new subscribers. I just love seeing this sewing community grow. It just just is giving me so much joy. So thank you and welcome. Uh, uh, Thanksgiving is over and we're on to Christmas. And I really this year wanted to share with with you all some of the ideas that I have come up with for Christmas gifts. Um, this has been I mean you know a uh, really weird year and. I, trying to stay out of stores as much as possible. And so most of my things are gonna be handmade and things that I've sewn. I'm trying to put some more thought into my gifts and making them more meaningful. Um, and I just, again, wanted to share some of my ideas. Now, a lot of these things are, are they're, they're not new. They're just things that have been out and around for a while. Um, but I'm, of course, just putting my own spin on, on things too. Um, and I did do one project and, and if you've all seen it or not, but where I had used my mother's wedding dress and made some gifts for the, the granddaughters. Um, and I'll link that video down below. If anybody's missed it, you can go back and see that. And so that's going to be the first video on this playlist. But today I have another special little item for a gal in our family who is a sewer and she does a lot of hand stitching. And I hope you enjoy this video. Um, Let's get started. I have been wanting to make a little needle book for a long time, and I thought, what a wonderful gift for a sewer. And this is so, this is what my version or my take on, on it. Um, it measures three and a half inches by seven inches, and it's a, there's a one inch spine. And I have it filled with all bunch, a lot of goodies. I'm going to share with you how I made it, and then at the end, I'm going to show what I put in it. The fabric that I use is this old quilt that I picked up at a flea market and it has a lot of holes in it. I had to work around some of that, but there was a little piece here and that's the one I ended up going with. And I'm so glad I did because I really liked the size that this turned out. There was just a little corner of this that I thought I could make use for the pocket, inside pocket, and so that is what that's going to be. And it's all a little wonky right now, so I'm squaring everything up. I will be taking quarter inch seam allowance on this. And I have this wonderful trim that a viewer sent me. I just love it, I use it all the time. And what a pr appropriate thing to put in a, a needle book. I'm gonna sew that on with a zigzag stitch and finish that top of that pocket off as well. Here's the lining. I found this fabric, it's really soft. And I did put a mid-weight interfacing on the back side of that lining, so it just had a little bit more structure. Yeah, there's some holes in this, so I decided I'm gonna be doing some um, embellishing just to cover that up. I'm gonna stamp this little vintage sewing machine. The gal that's getting this actually has this sewing machine, a little Singer Featherweight. And this little stamp says a stitch in time. Just love it. I'm using my waterproof ink. These archival inks are wonderful if you're going to be using it on fabric. I want to tear this just to get that raw edge on there. So I'm, I am starting my tear with my scissor just to, so I can get my, my fingers in there and rip it. I'm just kind of fraying that. And I'm going to sew that on that little piece just to cover that hole. And then I have these embellishments in my Etsy store. All my Etsy store items are on sale for 20% off through the end of November. So if you're interested in anything over there, just hop on over. The link will be down below. But I have these little fabric embellishments and I made these in a video. I too will link that down below for you. This, um, how, to, how I make these little embellishments. But I'm just gonna sew that on using free motion stitching um, and just get all that into place. Now on for the inside. I <laughs> I found this saying and I just love it. It says, um, if you see me with a seam ripper, now is not the time. And I put that on with a little bit of heat and bond light. I want to do a little embellishment over here in the corner of this too, just with this fabric yo-yo and a button. I'm just going to take this to my sewing machine now and sew these on. That's all done. I also just basted that pocket into place. I want this to close with a piece of elastic. So I have this elastic cord that I am going to be placing and just zigzagging across that. Putting these right sides together now and marking, marking a spot to turn it. I'm gonna put about a three inch spot to turn it. 
And I'm going to be stitching this around and I am going to be back stitching at the beginning at the end. Trimming my corners and now turning this whole thing so that the right sides are out. Just getting my fingers in there and then I'm also using my pokey tool to get those corners poked out. Turning under right at that elastic and I'm going to be um, top stitching this and going over that elastic a couple times as well just to make sure that's secured. Rolling out my seams and getting everything pressed down nice. It's turning out so cute, I just love it. And then we'll be, yep, top stitching all the way around. Onto the little page, this is just a piece of craft felt and I cut that a little bit smaller than the outer cover. About a half inch smaller all the way around. And here's a piece of um, heavy plastic packaging and I want to make a clear pocket on this um, page. I thought a clear pocket would be fun so you can see everything that's in it a little bit better. I'm just going to um, put that aside for right now, that little pocket. I do want to um, add some patches of felt to the tops of these pages so that the needles will, will stick in better. So that's my thinking on this. I'm getting four of these little um, patches approximately the same size and they're going to go towards the top of my pages um, and I'm going to be just attaching this with a zigzag stitch. Just trying to get everything all measured up and getting it somewhat even. I can see through this page and so I'm, I'm going to be um, stitching this uh, so that all the layers um, are sewn together. But first I wanted to add just a little bit of um, a trim. Again, a viewer sent me some beautiful tatting and I'm just going to add a little bit to the bottom of each of this um, felt on the inside, the inside pages. I thought with these little tatting um, Oh, the little edges on this would be a wonderful place to stick some safety pins or something. That's kind of what I have in mind right now. So I'm going to be stitching those on that little trim underneath the, that felt. Just getting that felt into place right now with a temporary glue stick. It's just getting that little trim underneath as well. And it's over to my sewing machine with my zigzag. I have a little piece of heat and bond light that I've just cut in a heart shape. And I took another, another same fabric as I did my lining fabric and I just want to cut out a little heart applique and put that on the bottom of one of my pages. And it, this is just for decoration. I just thought a cute little heart applique would be a nice addition to this. I'm just going to zigzag that into place. That is all zigzagged and now I'm going to put on my pocket. Two things that are just a must when you do your vinyl is um, the clips. You want to you want to clip instead of instead of using pins. So I'm going to use my wonder clips here and just get those into get this um, vinyl into place or plastic whatever you want to call it. And then another thing is your even feed dog foot. This even feed dog foot will will um, feed both the top and the bottom layer at the same time. Vinyl is really hard to um, it it um, it drags a little bit, and so this even feed dog really helps get everything. Um, sewing the way you want it to be. Gets both those layers going at the same time. And my little pocket is completely into place. Wanting to add some trim to the edges of my little book. I, I love the way those just kind of hang out when the book is closed. 
I'm just getting my page in the position that I want it and I will be sewing right down the middle of this. And then I'm also going to be sewing on either side of that just to kind of give a, a bigger spine. And here we are. I'm going to share with you what I stuck inside. I put a little button here. This is the coolest little thing. I got this, um, I'll show it to you right now. I made a little booklet out of it. And I thought a little notebook is always good in a, in a needle book because you never know when you have to jot down something. But I, I scanned this um, and I made the cover out of this. This is an old needle and pin um, folder that I picked up at the flea market. And I just love how that turned out. It just fits really nice in that pocket. On the first page, I just added some safety pins and some trims. I thought it'd be wonderful to add those into some into a project, so I thought that would make a nice thing to add. And then in the middle, I was able to put a little spool of thread, some more pins and needles on that little felt thing, and in the pocket is this, it's a needle threader that's shaped like a hummingbird. I picked it up at the quilt shop. I just thought it was cute, and I'm just going to stick the whole package in there. She can open that one up. The spine is nice and when you when you make a double, uh, a thicker spine so that that thread will fit right in there. And then I added some buttons, just using some garment pins and some more needles up on the felt and some trims um, down below with just things I had on hand and I just added it to these little cardboard bobbins. Some stick pins. And then in the back pocket, I added a scissor and a couple of wonder clips. And it just folds up so nice. I, I know I'm going to be making more of these in the, in the new year and adding them to my Etsy store. I just think they're just so fun. Thank you everybody. I hope you have a chance to create. I'm going to be adding some photos at the end here so you can take a look and some um, more detail. Bye for now.